Hello everybody and welcome to my guide, my tutorial here on how to use Dream Booths so that you can create your own models with your own face in them and things like that. So the first thing you'll need to do is create a Hugging Face account if you don't have one and then you just need to go to this section in your settings and get your token. You just need to make one of these tokens and this is free to create a, an account and I've gone ahead and copied that. Now I have already done this but I'm going to kind of go ahead and go through the steps here. So the first notebook we'll be using is this Dream Booth Stable Diffusion notebook, and I have a link for it down below. And I, I did this also on the free Google Colab account, so I know you can make this on the free one. It does take about 40 minutes. And what we'll do, I'll kind of go over the steps here again. Um, we just hit run there. And run here. And then down here, this is where you will need your Hugging Face token when we get to this part. And you will also need, you'll also need your images. So if you want to import yourself into this program, into um, Stable Diffusion, you'll need to make, like I'd say, probably 10 images or more. I just did a real simple one here with just six, and it did take about 40 minutes to train the model. And then it took another about two hours to upload it to my other my other um, Google Colab account, my Pro one. So you, if you're just using the same one, you won't have to re-upload it. You'll just need to save it. Okay, now this is where you will log on to Hugging Face. You'll enter your token there. Log in. Great. And now this is where I started changing some stuff. So right here, I just have the name. Um, I use these images um, from a BBC show called Father Ted with Father Jack, so I changed this instant directory to Father Ted, just to kind of keep it organized. I kept this the same. Um, I think I kept this the same. It was, I think it was already on Guy. And we want to have that checked. And then this here I changed also the output directory where it says Stable Diffusion Weights. I just put Father Ted. And this again was just to keep track of it. And then I went ahead and you run this. And I'm 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 not gonna do it right now. I'm just gonna kind of show you, and then um, well, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and run it. Okay, and then after it's connected, after you've run this and it's connected to your Google Drive, then you just after this is connected to your Google Drive, then you just go down here and you run this cell to upload your images. Okay, and then you go in here and you pick your images. These are the six images I uploaded of Father Jack from the Father Ted show. So you just grab all of these and you can put yourself in there, your dog, whatever you want. You can put anyone you want now in Stable Diffusion. And I wanted Father Jack in Stable Diffusion. Okay, now this is the part. Now this, I didn't change anything. I just ran it and this took about an hour. So go ahead and you just click this. Let me, oh yeah, I did change this here where it says instant prompt. I changed that to Father Ted. And then there were some lines here in front of the class prompt that I just deleted. And for the class prompt, I think it's just guy. Yeah, so I, I'm not sure how important that is. So anyway, so then uh, we run this. And my this is going to take like 40 minutes to an hour for you. Mine's going to finish because I already did it, I think. Or maybe it's trying to do it again. Yeah, it's going to try to do it again. But I'm going to go ahead and stop this now because I've actually already created the model. Okay, and then once you do that, then you run this file and then this file. And then once you've done that, your model should be good to go. And then you just go into your directory. And mine saved mine here in the stable diffusion weights under Father Ted. And then it's this file right here is the only file you need. I, then I just... You right click this is just called model you right click it and download it or actually if it's already in your sorry this is because i changed mine my, my accounts i uploaded it to my other one but you can just use this now the next time you use your um, deform notebook and just copy a path to it so let me go ahead and get over to my other one the one that i'm using okay so this one i've already uh, i uploaded it to this one and then there is my file my model that I got from the dream booth that we trained. And then you just go up here to this part right here. And you paste it right here where it says custom checkpoint path. And you also pick model checkpoint custom. 
So this is the first thing you change. And then you just put your model path right there. And then now that I have it in there, I can now use that, that um, prompt name that I made, Father Ted. He's, it's actually Father Jack is that character, but he is from the Father Ted show. And so I have a digital painting of Father Ted here. And I'll go ahead and run this, and you can see that this is going to... Now, one other thing I did, I changed this to Sampler DPM2 because I had some real ugly ones with the other one. I'll go ahead and test that again just to show you. So I just have a digital painting of Father Ted. And this will now draw from my model that we trained on those six images. I only did six images. But you'll see that these, um, these come out looking um, pretty much like the, the six images that I put in there. It draws from them really well. I was actually surprised that it came out this good for just using six images. Okay, and there we go. A digital painting of Father Ted. And you can, like I said, you can replace that with yourself, your dog, your cat, a garbage can, a hand. We can now put a human hand in stable diffusion that would actually look like a hand. So maybe I'll go and try to train a model for an hour on a hand sometime. You'll see, too, that a lot of these look very similar, um, probably because of my limited amount of images there. It's kind of drawn from all of them. But you can see that this does work. It is in the normal D forum notebook now. Once we created it with that other notebook, it is working in here. And let me go ahead and try a little bit of experimenting here, too. And there we go. That one's a little different. So there is Father Jack from the Father Ted Show. And unfortunately, the main cast member of that show died. But that was a very funny BBC TV series. Okay, so I'm going to do one more here. Let's do a... A steampunk, we'll use one of the really cliche modifiers here, a steampunk Father Ted, but a great one. I do love steampunking things. So the most time you're going to spend on this is training these models. Like I said, it takes about 40 minutes to an hour, so kind of get your images all ready to go. Make sure you've got exactly what you want there. And also thanks to the guys at the um, Deforum Discord, I went in there just to make sure I was copying my model in the right place because the last one I did didn't work. And it turns out it was just because the model size, something happened to the model. Like this one came out about 4 gigs, and the one I did right before this was only like 1.5, so I think something just happened in the download. But this one seems to be working great, you know, especially if you're only putting in those six images. And I'll go ahead and post edit too and show you all my starting images there. But there we have it. There is Dream Booth, and you can now import yourself. Um, this is also called, I think, Textual Inversion is another tool for this. But I think, and also if you consider I did this model on the free Google Colab account, I think this turned out pretty good. It didn't kick me off. It ran for 40 minutes, an hour, and let me do the whole thing. And yeah, it's working. It seems like it's working um, pretty good. So let's do, let me show you also what happened when I tried that other sampler and maybe we'll try a couple of these other ones too. So this is the first one I tried. Let's make him a steampunk robot. And I don't know also what the differences are in this model. Like it might be that it recognizes less, less prompts, less modifiers. I'm not really sure. But it is importing those images that we trained it on. So I know, I know a lot of people would really like to put themselves in here. And that that's just gone too far. Now he doesn't look like Father Jack anymore. He went too far. Oh, we also changed the sampler method. That's right. Oh, there he does. There he does. So now it's working okay. Hmm. So I don't I don't know what was wrong. The first couple times I ran it, it just looked really ugly it does look like now it is recognizing the father ted prompt in there so i have to say this is right now i think this is a success i think that this tutorial is good to go now and this took me a while to do i've actually been trying to do this for a couple days now 
Okay, and it looks like this is working, and I want to give a big thanks to all my Patreon members, and um, Luckle Cleric was actually the one who, who wanted me to kind of tackle this, and I'm really glad I did now. And it did take a little while, but I think that now I, I have to say this is a success. You know, it's it's really a success. Um, now that I've got this working, this is the first one I've got to work. I might go and try to do one of myself or, you know, my daughter or something. But um, thanks for watching. I think we have just about covered everything. Let me try one more here. We'll just try one of these other models just for the heck of it. And again, the first few times I did this, it looked really ugly. It had some just kind of really splotchy colored spots. So I don't know what, what finally got rid of that. It doesn't seem to be doing it now. It seemed like when I first changed the um, this, the sampler model from KLMS to one of these other ones is when it started looking normal. The very first time I did it, it kind of looked ugly. So maybe try that. But yeah, I have to say this is using, you know, it's not giving us a lot of variety, but considering I only gave it six images, I think that this is a, this is working good. So thank you for watching. I'm going to tackle some of these other new features in the Deforum notebook. Very soon, I'll probably get to the math functions one next. So thank you for watching. You'll have a great rest of your day. And if you make any of these models, feel free to post links to all your work. I always love seeing everybody's work in the comments and what you guys are working on. So thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon.